Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of Space Station Live this Monday, April 15th. Topping today's news for the space station, a Russian cargo vehicle known as Progress 49 that brought up nearly three tons of supplies for the station crew and docked from the aft port of this Vesta surface module earlier this morning at 7.02 a.m. Central Time. The uh, unpiloted vehicle, which arrived at the station back on October 31st, will now use its uh, thrusters for a series of test firings over the next few days to enable engineers on the ground to calibrate the radar systems. The Progress 49 will be deorbited on uh, next Sunday and will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere over the uh, Pacific Ocean. Progress's uh, departure clears the aft port as Vesta for the arrival of the next Progress cargo ship, Progress 51, which is scheduled for launch on April 24th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. It'll dock to this Vesta on April 26th. Commander Hadfield and Flight Engineer Marshburn both spent some time early this morning with the data collecting and recording for two separate human body studies, one known as Pro-K and the other as Energy. Pro-K uh, seeks a dietary countermeasure for bone loss while Energy Studies evaluates that energy balance of a long-duration spaceflight crew member. The pair also worked together to measure the airflow of the Japanese pressurized module. Hadfield then uh, performed some maintenance to the water recovery system. The water recovery system converts urine, sweat, and condensation into drinkable water for the crew. Marshburn then uh, performed some prep work on uh, two ongoing science studies that will be performed this week one of which that uses uh, three bowling ball free-flying satellites known as Synchronize, Position, Hold, Engage, Reorient Experimental Satellites or SPHERES that are used to uh, test techniques that could lead to advancements in automated dockings, satellite servicing, spacecraft assembly, and emergency repairs. Marshman also performed maintenance of the uh, combustion integrated racks optic bench today for planned science operations that are scheduled to uh, take place this week. The uh, combustion integrated rack can uh, safely accommodate experiments that examine droplet solid fuel and uh, gaseous fuel combustion in a weightless environment. Meanwhile, flight engineer Chris Cassidy had worked with the uh, fluids integrated rack, prepping samples to be tested within the uh, fluids physics research facility. He also spent some time with Commander Hadfield in uh, crew handover activities, then performed sample initialization of the BCAT-3, also known as the Binary Colloidal Alloy Test, a study that explores the separation of phases of uh, liquid and gas. And meanwhile, on the Russian side of the house, Vinogradov and Romaninko continue their preparations today for their spacewalk, scheduled Friday outside the uh, Piers docking compartment airlock to install and retrieve several experiments and to replace a faulty retroreflector on the aft end of Zvezda that is part of a uh, suite of navigational aids to be used by the European Space Agency's Albert Einstein, the automated transfer vehicle 4, for its automated docking to the station later in June. Vinogradov and uh, Romanenko are installing lights and tool belts to the Russian Orlan spacesuits and reviewing the spacewalk checklist. Commander uh, Hadfield inspected the U.S. spacesuit lights and, the, uh, and Cassidy had configured the cameras that were installed to the Orlan spacesuits that will be worn outside the complex during this week's spacewalk. The crew will then wrap up their day with a final daily planning conference with the ground. This is Mission Control Houston.